Rule 4.3.1 says that 30% of our Bermuda crew needed a safety at sea course in the last five years. I've been meaning to take one, so I was game. Nikita, on the right, took care of signing the two of us up, and Rich, on the left, signed up too. The best part of the course was the in the water training. We dressed in our fall weather gear, complete with inflatable PFDs and tethers, and did in the water training with life rafts. We started without the PFDs. The first thing I noticed was how easy it is to swim in fowlies. I expected they'd make swimming more difficult, but I hardly noticed them. I was able to swim the lap of the pool underwater without much difficulty. Everyone found that their footwear is actually quite buoyant, especially those wearing sea boots. I think I was the only person in the class who wasn't buoyant in the pool, at least once the air emptied out of my jacket's hood. It was pretty challenging to climb into the life rafts. The steps that you put your feet on weren't really stable, so you'd basically be pushing yourself away from the raft when you tried to stand up on them. Having the PFD wrapped around your neck on top of your chest effectively shortened your reach by about a foot. Think T-Rex trying to pull himself into a life raft. I climbed into each raft once, and the most difficult one several times. The easiest way to get aboard was to drag yourself aboard beached whale style. Make sure you keep moving your hands up to the next handhold. Putting one foot in a lower and one foot in a higher handhold helped a lot. It was easier to climb in near the corners of the raft because they had more stability than the middle of a straight section. If you failed to climb aboard at a given spot, stop, look for handholds to your right and your left, and then try again where the handholds are better. Throwing a leg on the raft didn't help. It made it impossible to go hand over hand to the next handhold because one of your arms would be isolated by the vest. One thing that made it easier every time was to let about one third of the air out of my vest. One situation that was really tenuous was when only one person was in the raft and a second was trying to climb aboard. It seemed like the raft could flip with all that weight hanging over one edge. Being inside the raft was quite cozy. You sit along the outside edge facing in. Everyone's legs are piled atop each other, which isn't very comfortable. If you close the cover to keep out rain and spray, some of them were actually quite dark. Personally, I was having a great time, but I got the impression that it made some sailors feel ill instantly. If the raft got inverted, flipping it back over was very simple. You grabbed the edge of the raft, turned it until the writing strap was facing you, and then tried to pull yourself atop the raft. It flipped over smartly right on top of you, so you either had to catch it and push it aside or swim out from underneath. This was much less effort than climbing into the raft. I think I'll just pull. My inflatable PFD worked exactly as advertised. I found it was very tight around my neck. I wasn't being strangled, but I had the momentary sensation every time I put it back on. Floating around wearing the PFD is what I imagine being in the stocks feels like. I did read the instructions on the back of my PFD, and apparently my chest is 4 inches beyond the recommended maximum. So much for one size fits all. They taught us the proper technique for jumping into the water wearing the life vest. Jump in feet down with your feet together, cross your arms over your PFD, and pull it down smartly until you rise back to the surface. This way, your arms take some of the strain that would otherwise be on your neck and the PFT. The rest of the seminar was a good review of seamanship and first aid. I could probably count on one hand the number of things that they told us in the seminar that I haven't read at least twice before. On the other hand, I've read three of the books by one of the presenters, so the review is what I expected. The half day on the water was worth the price of admission all on its own. As crew, I'm relieved that any boat that I crew on, the skipper will likely have been to these lectures, so I'm glad it's required. Peace of mind will be a bit easier to come by crossing the Gulf Stream on the way to Bermuda.
Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, oh, it's not even that. It's the inner lining that got it. That is... That's not good. 